Hey everybody, so I couldn't find a tutorial on how to do this kind of effect when I needed it before, so I figured I'd make one. So it's basically a fake stream chat box type of thing that you can add to your screen replacements or whatever you might be needing this for. So let's get started. We have this vertical composition here I created, because usually the text boxes are vertical, so we'll be working with that. Let's create our text here, saying chatter1, or I don't know, chatter1, yeah. Hey. Okay. Now you want to make sure your paragraph is starting from the left. I believe this is what it's called. Place it right here. And that is good enough. Okay, so we'll be starting by creating three keyframes. The first one is going to be our starting position. I'm going to move this one here actually. I'm going to move this down. The second one is the original position. And we're going to copy the second one and place it again here. So this is what we have. I'm going to make this a little faster. Okay, so the expression you're going to be using will be in the description and is this one. Simple as that. You're going to copy it, hit Alt and the stopwatch and paste it. And what's that going to do is basically loop the keyframes we just created. So it looks like this. Cool. So it's going up, up, up. Now what you want to do is duplicate this layer and place it at the final keyframe. So it looks like this. Now obviously creating this one by one is going to be frustrating, so there's a way to offset them easily, but you're still going to need to manually edit them uh, in terms of what it says, or if you want to have uh, the first name and colors, then you're just going to have to go like this, change the color, next, change the color, and yeah. Okay, so let's duplicate a few of these. I'm going to select them all, go to the last keyframe, and by hitting U you can see all the keyframes, Go to the last keyframe, hit Control shift d and delete. Now with all these deleted layers, you're going to select them. Right click, go into keyframe assistance and sequence layers. Make sure overlap is not selected and hit OK. And as you can see, our layers overlapped, but they die too quickly. So what you want to do is select them all again and simply extend them manually like so. And now if you play it, we have a chat. Now, yes, this can be frustrating to go one by one, but you can use like name generators and everything to just copy paste and do this in under a minute. Then once you do this, you can just select everything, pre-compose it, yes, duplicate it and move it up about here to where it ends. Let me just line this up. And there you go. We have an infinite chat going and you can duplicate this again and again, depending on what you're using this for. If you don't want to start off with an empty chat box or anything like that. So let's say we're going into our screen or whatever. I was implementing these on the screen before and I'm going to drop the composition we just created like so. Scale this down and we're putting it here. And this is how you create a fake streamer chat. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.